Okay, so Nick, you recall last time we were just, you know, taken into, ca we were just like captured by Dowd. Ah, uh, yes. After being betrayed by the loyalists. And we've been thrown into a, and much as I have many times, we now awaken in a dank pit with only a vague remem remembrance of where why we're there. And here we go. Is your pit also where they slaughter whales? Yes, oddly enough. We are now yeah. we're now in a new area. They bring the bodies here with rough hands, rough hands in cages. Some of them are still breathing. Water is so cold, and it's the last thing they feel. Well, the heart is just a barrel of laughs, as always. They will never give back what they have taken. All right, so what, are we trapped here? Yeah, this is where Dowd has me imprisoned. For the, you know, they want to take me in alive for the bounty. Now, there's a couple right. ways out of here. One of them is you can wind blast those planks off. Another is you can pick up these bricks and just throw them to break it. But there's two guys like right up there, so you kind of you heading up right into a fight if you do that. And you're not you're not armed, of course. But there is a, I, I actually I sort of experimented just to see if I could possess that guy, but no, you can't. I don't know if it's too far or if you need the line of sight, but so instead, I'm gonna possess our little rodent friend here. Head down the tunnel. Down the drain. I would emerge down here. Now we are, as the flooded district is, as the name suggests, flooded. And remember way back when when the when, when one of the heart things the heart said, like in an early mission, was like like the dams broke. A whole district went dark overnight. Yeah. That's this is what she was talking about. This used to be an important uh, industrial and financial district of the city until a uh, critical a, a you know dam failure along the river caused a massive flood. So uh, is this place not limping along with such a catastrophic dam failure? What do you mean? I mean, is the in industrial and financial sector that unimportant? Oh no, it's 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 part of the re it's it, it happened pretty recently, so it's part of the reason this whole city is so screwed up now. Ah. Ah. Pick up, now we can rearm ourselves. Overseer saber. Oh. Report to Dowd. This is the musical device that the Overseer had strapped to his chest. While it was functioning, we were unable to perform transversals or tetherings. I suggest we all get a good look at it. So, yeah, it affects their powers as well. Their powers, because their powers also come from the outsider. Transversal is just what they call blink, basically. Tethering, I yeah. believe, is that power they use. Remember when they, like, they held me, like, just held me up in the air, immobile, when I was, when, to stop me from saving the Empress? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. All right. Corvo's bounty note. Dowd. Finding Corvo in possession of that mask could have been an elaborate frame job, but now the newly minted Lord Regent Havelock, that's interesting, he's, now he's the Lord Regent, is announcing to all the city that he has proof linking Corvo to the masked felon. The bounty is 30,000 coins, but if Corvo truly is the masked felon and is responsible for all the things the wanted posters accuse him of, I expect the bounty to double. Because we have him alive, we should be able to barter for even more. Regarding Slackjaw, we watched him for a week, and when we were ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he left the city. Rolfio. Well, so we've learned a few things. Havelock, Havelock, is, will return. Havelock is now the Lord Regent. Slackjaw has suddenly disappeared. Oops. Assassin's Blade. I don't think it actually matters which of those swords you take, as far as I know. Is that... Okay, here's a list of just, uh, you know, you know, contracts, basically. Right. One of them says, eliminated, eliminated, payment refused, employer eliminated. <laughs> so, you know. Take your financial obligations seriously when you hire supernatural contract killers. All right, 
fine. Now I'm armed, but I still lack most of my stuff. Yeah, that's nice. Which you may recall we saw Dow just, you know, dump over the side of that railing. Yes. Rather wasteful, you find it. Really. Especially a cool sword like Corporal has that just sort of extends outward. Yeah. Speaking of swords. Wind blast. I like the mechanics of it. Of what? The Corvo sword. Oh yeah, it's cool. Springs out like that. The Brigmore job. R Ronaldo, do the job as you are told and do not question my planning again. Yes, the women who meet in the ruins of Brigmore Manor possess abilities like our own. And they use poisons administered by Dart. But just as you share my ability to blink across space through the transversal trick, you also inherit my, my resistance to some toxins. As I told you when you first joined us, it is another of my gifts that whoever serves me loyally shares in some of my power. This may or may not aid you against their poisons. The leader of the Brigmore Witches must pay for her betrayal. If you succeed, your share will be enough to build a fine home in Zirkonos in your old age, assuming you live, Dowd. Now the Brigmore... The Brigmore Witches is in fact the name of the second uh, uh, set of downloadable, uh, d downloadable content missions for this game. Oh, okay. there, there are two. Uh, there, well, there's, there's three D DLC packs. One of, two of them are like additions to the story, uh, the Knife of Dunwall and the Brigmore Witches. And in both of them, you actually play as Dowd. Huh. And I believe they take place while Corvo is like in jail. You find out what Dowd was up to in that time. Hmm. And. You know, the mechanics translate, because, you know, Dowd also has outsider powers. So he has a lot of, he has some of Corvo's abilities, plus some new ones, like, you know, the whole tethering thing. Right. Now, as he mentioned in that letter, part of his... But he doesn't have... Sorry? No, go ahead. Part of his powers is that, like, his loyal followers, some of that, they gain some of that power as well. So that's why the, the other whalers can do stuff like teleportation. Oh, so they all don't have to make packs with the outside. No, I guess not. It's like, I guess if you're just sufficiently closely affiliated with someone who's been touched by the outsider. Well, that makes sense. I suppose that they're not all interesting enough for yeah. the outsider to visit them anyways. Yeah, Corvo. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, he probably didn't, you know, take, you know, personally decide that every one of them was intriguing enough to. Yes. I I I I I guess being the being the outsider, it's sort of like a fr it's like it's like buying like a McDonald's franchise, you know. Even in the terrible you become a franchisee, <laughs> and then you can distribute, you know, outsider powers to other people within your dis within your designated area, or something. Yeah, like that clause that lets you strip search your employees. Really. It, yeah, they had. I think they added it um, after that whole fiasco where somebody called in and said that one of the employees was stealing and the manager decided to strip search her and then she was like complied because she was a dumb teenager and then they sued and now there's a caveat that says like says that's legal but it's not like enforceable and i'm just sort of imagining like ronald mcdonald as a minion of the outsider <laughs> that, that is terrifying Oh. Uh oh, river crusts. I don't have we I don't think we've really dealt with these much before. We saw them briefly, I think. But yeah, the river crusts. They're these sessile animals that live along the river, and they spit like this like acid at you, basically. They can right. Be, they can be extremely dangerous. Uh, they can also be a bit lucrative because if you kill them, some of them have have pearls. Oh, but inter look at we've got some dead overseers. That's interesting. So are they like giant oysters? I'm not sure exactly what they are. They they're really weird. You'll you'll get a closer up look at them in a bit. Okay. They're really unpleasant. They're they're difficult to kill unless they open. And when, it, when they're open, that means they're about to, you know, shoot gobs of, you know, flesh-burning 
phlegm at you, so. Ooh. Yeah. Well, it looks like a whole group of overseers ran into some trouble. I wonder why it is that the overseers seem to specialize in grenades. Because, you know, it's like, the city guards, they don't have them, but the overseers g generally do. I wonder what... I don't know. They're just, like, blowing stuff up. Oh, you hear that noise? That's the telltale sound of a... It's such an unpleasant name, too. Crust. With a K. <laughs> I don't know how... Kind of awkward angle to be turning this wheel, but... Now, there's a couple ways we can go. We can go straight to Dowd, but I'd rather get our stuff back first. Do you know if it's possible to not have a blade? Like, at all? Yeah, like, once your sword gets taken, just, like, avoid picking one up. I guess... Although, I, I suppose so. I, I've never tried it. That's an interesting question. As far as... I don't see why you couldn't. Okay, see those... We can, you can see those yellow outlines. There they are. They tend to yeah. appear in clusters, usually with, like, a big one and a couple smaller ones. Which can make a grenade very handy. Oh, there they are. They let out quite a scream when they die, too. Oh, there's more. I don't know why these creatures even have vocal organs, but... Oh, there's still a survivor. The irritating thing about having all your stuff taken away is, is like, it, it, it undoes, like, your key bindings and whatnot. Oh, really? Yeah, like... Okay, yeah, shoot it as it opens. Ah, uh, okay. You can kill them when they're closed, but they take more, more damage. Hmm. They look like a big mollusk. Yeah, they do kind of. It's sort of like what you suggested, like some, like a sort of like giant, predatory, oyster might not be too far off. Uh oh, orders from Overseer Campbell. Okay, so these guys these guys set out a little while ago if Campbell was still alive to be telling them to do stuff. I bid you safety and courage on your expedition. The assassin Dowd and his cultist followers are commonly known as the Whalers, due to the oil masks they wear. Beware, for Dowd may possess power and resistance beyond expectation. Tread with extreme caution. Their infamy is well earned. They are based inside the Chamber of Commerce building in the ruins of Central Rudshore. All roads to this area have been blocked, with the exception of the elevated rails. Find the rail section. Find the rail station in the Redshore Market. March carefully, for the cultists undoubtedly employ spies to watch the route. I overseer Campbell. Hmm. Well, dealing with followers of the outsider is what the uh, overseers are supposed to be all, all about. I would love. Uh to start a gang and like I think oh 50, 50 coin was... 50 coin pearl nice uh, oh and a smaller 25 coin pearl I'm sorry go ahead you want to start a gang <laughs> I, but I, then I always get caught up on the names because like none of the names I pick sound cool like and somehow the whalers sounds cool well it sounds cool in a society with like whaling be kind of it might be kind of just confusing if you did it like in in the modern world. That's true. Unless you move to like Japan or Norway, where they still have whaling, maybe. I think they still do in Norway. I'm pretty sure they still do in Japan. Yeah, Japan they do. 
it's it's possible that I'm wrong, and some like really angry six and a foot half tall blonde man is is about to like is gonna fly over to the United States to avenge what I've said about his country. He doesn't know where you are. Man. Overseer's warning: the assassins sprung their trap as we tried to cross the narrow bridge. At that point, they were able to pick us off one by one. We thought we could draw them inside where our greater numbers could make more of a difference, but it didn't matter. Now I'm the only one left, and I feel that slipping from me minute by minute. Please, if a second group attempts to come through this way, beware of that bridge. They're listening for the sound of the door opening. Keep an eye on the rooftops. Even a small number of them is more than a match. Ambushes from the rooftops, it seems. Do you think you'd have the presence of mind to... Uh, right, that as right. you're bleeding to death, while you're dying. Probably, probably not. Then again, if the the overseers are like you know heavily dis disciplined religious fanatics, maybe he could pull. Maybe they could pull it off. That's true. Uh oh, got got, got some weepers. And notice all that, all that green, all that you know, bluish white crap. Yeah. That is uh, spilled. That's from spilled whale oil canisters. Huh. As I mentioned, this was parts of the parts of the flooded areas were an industrial district, and we're not far right. and we're not far from a uh, like a wrecked whale oil processing plant. <laughs> it got it got it got trashed by the flood, and there's like so like you know there's broken canisters smeared around. Right. The whale, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't hurt you or anything. It would be kind of cool if, like, you could set fire to it or something. <laughs> but it's it's just a decoration, really. There's some more whalers. Not so whalers. those ones, we, they can't explode because they're not... The, you will find some the, some that are intact and still have fuel in them later, but... No, just like the the, the, the white sludge, the blue-white sludge on the ground, that, that's, har that's harmless. I see. Although I imagine you wouldn't want to, like, stand over it breathing in the fumes for long periods of time if you were really there. No. Actually, you probably wouldn't want to really breathe the air anywhere in Dunwall. Ever. Much much like the toilets, it's, it's more danger than it's worth. 